Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Wall Street Ball. Yes, I've got my morning espresso here. Let's get into some updates with XRP, the rest of the markets, and what I'm buying this weekend. So stick around. Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Thank you very much to every single one of you out there who have subscribed to the channel. It's incredible. Look at those subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, I love building financial freedom with all of you. So if you're new, please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see here, I love documenting my journey with investing, be it through cryptos, dividend stocks, grow stocks, all kinds of stuff to do with passive income. Building generational uh, wealth is my goal. So come along this incredible journey. And uh, if everyone could smash that like button, it would really help the algorithm as well. And I would appreciate it. So thank you very much. Little disclaimer, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence for this stuff. It can be extremely risky and volatile. And I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. So please don't take what I say as financial advice. Do your own research, jump on websites, Masari.io, Luna Crush, Reddit, Medium, Twitter, uh, YouTube, like you're doing now, Google everything, get confident, then make a decision to invest from there, all right, guys, once you are confident. And I personally only invest when I can afford to lose, all right? So please, please, please be careful out there. All right, so today's video is essentially going to be on XRP. Again, this is the most interesting crypto that's out there at the moment, and I can safely say it's probably one of the best that I can see with future utility. Obviously, removing Swift and uh, replacing that old dinosaur technology, guys. And uh, it's only a matter of time before this actually happens. There's some updates with the SCC case. I did watch this incredible man, Jeremy Hogan, here on his new video that he put out today uh, in relation to the SCC Ripple um, versus Ripple case. It's fascinating because there's some interesting stuff going on here. Um, obviously, he said that you know there wasn't a dis deposition that took place with William Hinman, which is the gentleman, the ex-director uh, of the SCC, uh, that actually didn't take place on the 28th, I believe it was, and that's quite interesting. Um, obviously, uh, he said here, what's up with the internal SEC documents about the Hinman deposition? What the heck is going on? Watch out for the rampant speculation talk of this S settlement. <laughs> also, Muppets, Baby Yoda and Old Spice. He thinks there's going to be a settlement happening here, guys. And obviously, based on his knowledge and expertise being an attorney, which is awesome, this is a real possibility, guys. And uh, obviously now he's saying there could be a settlement taking place because apparently some replies between Ripple's attorneys and the SEC's attorneys haven't taken place. They haven't replied. Well, sorry, Ripple haven't responded to the SEC's uh, uh, questions and so forth. And basically they didn't have a need to do this because there is a settlement that is going to be potentially on the cards. Now, think about that for a moment, guys. This is insane. It's awesome news to see this, and I hope it does. He said in his video uh, that obviously pending something coming in Friday, which is today. It's the 30th of July, believe it or not, in Australia. We're a day ahead of the US. So something may be coming through on Friday in the US. So uh, something has to be filed here, but there is probably a settlement incoming here, guys, which is unbelievable. Let's all fingers crossed and pray that this actually happens because I tell you if it does, this price is going to go through the roof. It definitely will for sure. Um, obviously today, the markets, let's have a look here. I use CoinSpot, everyone. If you use uh, CoinSpot, please feel free uh, to sign up with the code below. There's a referral link. Uh, you and I can get $10 in Bitcoin. That's if you are uh, new to uh, CoinSpot, feel free to use that. If not, all good. Um, I'm not sure. People have said that people can sign up over in the US and overseas uh, to CoinSpot. I don't know if that's true because I'm obviously not in uh, in the US or overseas, but try it if it for works, great. If not, all good. Let's have a look at the market today. Bitcoin is up to 54,000 uh, Australian dollars. And I will get into the US dollars, by the way, because I believe people want to know what the US uh, is doing as well in the US dollars. So I'll have a look at that. Ethereum is up 4.27% to $3,300. That's awesome. BNB is up, guys. Cardano is up to $1.79. And XRP is sitting at a dollar and four cents. This went down below 77 cents. It's insane. This is because of the announcement with Japan there and uh, the bridge there. So it's really cool news. And that's obviously what's driven and affected the price here 5.4% uh, today. Stellar is up 4.11% uh, to 38 cents. Theta is up to $8.40. And my favorite V chain, guys. This is a real possibility. Uh, this one is going to go to the moon as well, which is awesome. So that's pretty much the markets in Australian dollars, guys, today. And it is the 30th of July. So I will definitely do the uh, 
USD now so we can have a look at that. But guys, this is really awesome. Check out Jeremy Hogan's video because it's really going to open your eyes uh, about what's in incoming for uh, Ripple and X XRP, guys. Really check it out. It's awesome stuff here, guys. And uh, I'm just going to show you a quick news update today in relation to this. So XRP losing competitive advantage, um, BIS and SWIFT going uh, real time. This is an article that I came across before. Um, obviously, this is saying that um, XRP is losing traction here because of uh, Swift going uh, Swift Go that I did in the video yesterday about. I don't believe that. I'm not interested in that because I swear once this thing settles, it's going to have a huge effect on the crypto market. It's just going to go to the moon. And I said yesterday that 10 to $15 instantly from this settlement could be a real possibility here. And uh, if it does, it'll be life changing for a lot of people. I can believe I believe that. And uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, what else have we got here? This is all the news articles today. So XRP, XRP losing the competitive advantage. Well, I'm not going to read that. XRP jumped jumped 17% after Ripple's on-demand liquidity announcement. So this is incredible. So the total market cap of XRP crossed $35 billion on Wednesday. XRP, world's sixth most valuable cryptocurrency, saw an immense sick of these pop-ups an immense demand on wednesday after ripple the u.s blockchain firm announced the launch of ripple net the first live on demand liquidity odl service implementation in japan how good's that according to the latest data um, posted by coin market cap the overall market cap xrp jumped above 35 billion dollars on the 28th of july for the first time since 29th of june 2021 xrp is now the most valuable that is now more valuable than uh, cryptocurrency doge well, that's going to be more valuable than a lot of uh, other cryptocurrencies, believe it or not. XRP touched uh, 75 cents on Wednesday, its highest level in July 2021. Cryptocurrency is currently trading at nearly 73 cents with a market cap of approximately $34 billion. XRP accounts for nearly 2% of the overall market cap of digital currencies. So one of the major reasons behind XRP's recent bullish move on Ripple's on-demand liquidity announcement. So despite the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple, the company has formed several partnerships since the start of 2021, uh, today Ripple announced collaboration with Japan's SBI Remit and the Philippines-based Coins PH for the launch of RippleNet's first live on-demand liquidity ODL service implementation in Japan. Ripple announced the latest partnership to accelerate and grow cross-border payments from Japan. That is a uh, either an ambulance or fire engine there. Sorry about that noise. Uh, Ripple's recent announcement had a positive impact on it as the cryptocurrency saw a surge in retail demand. In March 2021, XRP saw a major jump in its price after Ripple acquired 40% uh, percent, 40 stake in Tranglo, one of the leading cross-border payments firms in Asia. So this is ever forever growing, insane partnerships, guys. Uh, the expanded partnership will see SBI Remit Connect, Coins PH, and digital asset exchange platform SBI VC Trade on RippleNet for faster and more affordable cross-border payments from Japan to the Philippines. With ODL now available in Japan, RippleNet customers can leverage the digital asset XRP to eliminate pre-funding and reduce operational costs, unlocking capital, and fuel the expansion of their payments business, Ripple mentioned in their recent press release. That is awesome news again. This is just making uh, everything positive for XRP Ripple. And uh, guys, check out Jeremy Hogan's video. He's a legend, a big fan of his channel, uh, but he is saying that there is a settlement that is imminent. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's have a look at the coin market cap today. I just want to see what's going on there to see if that uh, obviously all matches up here. If we go to XRP, let's just wait for this. this is in Australian dollars, people. I'll get into trading view, which does have USD. So 0.42% uh, is up in the last hour, 24 hours. Let's just wait for this to load. This have, has a real tendency to just do what it wants to do. 5.79%, which is awesome. Seven days, it is up 23.86%. Yes. 30 days, it is up 13.56%. In the last 90 days, let's just wait for that to load. It is down 51% in the last year. Well, we all know this is up 202% in the all time. Let's just wait for it. 21,000% That's ridiculous. That's awesome. Market cap, $47.38 billion, uh, which is insane. Uh, this is Australian dollars, by the way. 46 billion is in circulation. 99 billion XRP is in total supply. And obviously, yes, the CEOs, um, they're obviously the ones, uh, I can't remember his name, so, um, had uh, obviously a huge portion of this uh, that went and started XLM. Forgive me, I can't remember his name, uh, but he's burnt a lot of his tokens, which is good. And hopefully all of his um, current holdings in XRP will be burnt by the end of the year. So that'll be positive stuff as well. 24-hour uh, trading volume has been $4.9 billion. So guys, there's a lot of trading going on here with uh, XRP. Really positive news today. 
It's only a matter of time, guys. It really is. I'm just going to get into trading view now to check out the charts. And obviously, yes, we have some USD currencies in here. Bitcoin is sitting just below 40,000 US dollars, which is great to see this. Obviously, this is going to affect the entire market. Bit of a downturn today uh, at the moment here uh, with a red candle, but uh, obviously you can see that green, those green candles there, which is awesome. Red candle there, not worried about it. I don't think this is going to go any lower. It does get a bit quiet over the weekends, but we'll see how we go with that. And uh, we'll just check out XRP AUD today. Let's just wait for this today. Look at that uptrend. That is awesome. Finally, some green candles going upwards here. Really good stuff to see there. You do see the 50-day moving average and the 200 moving day average cross lines there, but I'm not worried about that. And um, obviously, this positive news here with the on-demand liquidity in Japan has, a, has had a positive effect on the actual coin and project itself, which is great to see now this back up at a dollar. You can see here earlier in July, it did drop down to that 70 cents there. That's when I bought the dip. I... Uh, always say if you're going to buy cryptocurrencies always try and look at buying the dip if you can um, don't take this as financial advice please but this is something that i do um, because you know this always happens um, obviously these these coins have not dropped back down to their all-time lows and they, they won't because there's too many partners and things going on at the moment and it won't drop back down that's really awesome stuff to see that obviously you've got the rest of the coins here doge uh, is up today which is good xlm uh, etn vet matic what have we got here? Theta is up to six dollars USD. Cardano, dollar uh, and seventy-four US. Uh, uh, sorry, dollar and seventy-four AUD. Telcoin, Hollow, HBAR, T Fuel. XYO has been really positive, guys. I've seen an awesome return with that in this week, which is great. XDC is another project that I'm bullish on as well. But uh, we'll get into Coin Market Cap. I'll just quickly show you my portfolio while I'm here and what I'm going to be buying more of. Definitely, obviously, more XRP because I want to add to my position while this price is still at this level. Up 21.57% today, guys. Really good news. XDC is up 7.67%. That is awesome. VeChain, 20.86%, guys. That's ridiculous. Tron is up 8.06%. Theta Fuel, 12.24%. Uh, Theta is up 22.83%. Telcoin, 30.17% guys, wow. Um, one project that I am, I have got a decent position in, so I'm gonna hold that. XLM is down 0.99%. Sia coin, 19.63%. Uh, uh, Holo, HOT, 22.67%. Hedera, a great project. I will do a video next week on Hedera, because a lot of you want that, so I'll do that. 14.75%. Doge is up 3.66%. Digibyte, DGB, uh, what do we got here, 15.39%. Cardano is up 5.38% and BitTorrent BTT 25.47%, guys. That's awesome. And obviously XYO, which is a great one as well that I am definitely going to be buying more of. Just adding to my position. And then once I get to a certain level, I'll stop that. I'm just going to quickly show you the 51.78% 50, in the last seven days, guys. This is really awesome. 11, uh, $111 million in market cap, $12 billion in supply, $13 billion total, $500,000 in total trading volume in the last 24 hours. And uh, just, before I, just before I forget, I want to check who this guy's name is. I can't remember his name. Let's just wait here. Jed McCaleb. Sorry about that. I had to look it up because I was doing my head in. So Jed McCaleb, he's still got a substantial holding uh, in uh, XRP, guys. And yes, he's uh, obviously burning those tokens. So once he does that, which he will by the end of the year, apparently, I've read and researched. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. Uh, if he does burn that, that'll be positive as well. So uh, guys, really awesome news today. Go watch Jeremy Hogan's uh, attorney uh, new video because he has put some awesome points there in relation to the SEC case. And uh, obviously this is moving so fast and in towards uh, Ripple's favor. It's gonna have a huge effect on the market guys on XRP. All right, let me know in the comments below what you intend on buying. And uh, obviously I'm going to be adding this week uh, more XRP, XYO, XDC, VET, Bitcoin. I am looking into buying more Bitcoin obviously. Uh, what other ones am I gonna be buying this week? Uh, let me have a think. Ah, INX. Um, obviously, with INX, guys, um, I'm not sure if it's available on CoinMarketCap here, like just to show you. INX is a crypto that I um, I did uh, try to acquire yesterday. It is such a lengthy process. Um, you have to register on OpenSecurities.io, uh, uh, Open Finance, it's called. I'll put the link somewhere. Uh, if you guys want, let me know. I'll comment it below. Um, it's really complicated. You've got to register for this. Um, then you've got to deposit Ethereum or USD into the uh, Open Finance bro uh, like exchange. 
if you deposit Ethereum, I wasn't aware, but uh, um, it takes about three to four days for this to get in there. You've got to have a MetaMask wallet set up, which I had to do yesterday. Um, you've got to transfer the Ethereum once that gets in there, then you can actually buy um, INX token. Um, that process in itself is not easy because there's no market purchase. You have to trade it um, and you put in your bid basically to buy it at say like a dollar and 30 cents or whatever it may be. Um, and essentially that's that's how you acquire INX and you've got to then worry about that in terms of how you store it and so forth. Um, I just want to have a look here. Let's have a look here, INX Limited. So jump on their Twitter page. I'll link their thing below, but uh, they did go live the other, the other day, which is great. Um, but it's just a really complicated crypto to buy at the moment because it is so new. And uh, once I acquire it, I'll do a video on it and let you know how to actually get this crypto. All right. Thank you very much for sticking around. I'll do a dividend video tomorrow, hopefully, um, because uh, I do love giving updates on my dividend portfolio, guys. It's very important. And uh, it's a, port a part of my uh, investing and definitely a part of my future, all right? So stick around for that. Thank you very much. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and uh, take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Peace. Bye.